The mind needs a place of rest. We live in a world where there's all kinds of things happening. The Buddha says our senses are assaulted in the same way that a flayed cow is assaulted by insects. A relentless contact again and again and again. And we have to maintain our balance in the midst of it. Because we don't maintain our balance, as they say, we lean. We lean towards things we like, things towards anger. We lean toward fear. We lean toward delusion. In other words, our actions get overcome by these things. So you've got to bring the mind back into balance. So it has a place separate from the world inside. And then it can look back out at the world and figure out, okay, what really is right, what really is wrong, without leaning all over the place. Because when your actions come from these biases, as the Buddha said, then they're going to lead to unhappiness for yourself and happiness for others. Here it is, the source of your happiness right here. Well, take good care of it. Take good care of your intentions. Take good care of the mind's way of attending to things. Be very clear about what you're doing and why. That way you can create a world that's in balance around you as well. Now, the world at large may have all sorts of other forces running in other directions. But in the areas that you're responsible for, you want to maintain your balance. So as they say when you're meditating, don't lead forward, don't lead back. In other words, don't lean into the future, don't lean into the past. Don't lean left or right, don't lean to things you like, things you don't like. Don't let yourself be overcome by fear. There are times when we don't observe the precepts because we're afraid of this, that other person may not be pleased, or we may have this little trouble here or there. But you have to remember the things that can come about, the harm that can come about from Observing the precepts is much less than the harm that comes over the long term from not observing them. So you can't let your fears get in the way of doing what you know is right. Of what the Buddha has set out as the path. That this is the path to happiness. He set it out a long time ago, more than 2,500 years ago, and it's still true. People over the centuries have all found that, yes, if you follow in line with what the Buddha said, it leads you to happiness. He never recommended anything that would lead you to suffering. It's our biases, though, that gets things skewed. So try to get your mind upright again, get it balanced again, and you're much more likely to see things for what they are, and act in a solid, skillful, responsible way.